there's been quite a handful of generational talent that we've seen being showcased in the NBA. But some players were simply too dominant and overpowering that tilted the balance of the game because they were just too big or freakishly strong. In today's video, I'm going to reveal 10 of the most dominating players in NBA history. Before we begin, I want you to like the video, subscribe to this channel, hit the bell icon so you'll be in the loop with our NBA content, and be sure to stick around till the end of the video because there is a special young player that I've included in the list. Wilt Chamberlain You can't talk about this list of dominant players without mentioning the name of Wilt Chamberlain. During the early days of the league, Wilt was a force to reckon with when he entered the NBA in the 60s due to his sheer size and imposing figure. Standing at 7'1 and weighing almost 275 pounds, Wilt just manhandled every player that he went up against and there's literally no one who could stop him in the paint. He was so tall that they gave him the moniker Stilt, which obviously refers to his legs that looked like long poles and the Big Dipper for always dipping his head to avoid bumping into doorways. During the 61-62 season, Wilt averaged 50.4 and notched down 25.7 boards a game, which was an absurd feat regardless of the era, and he's still the record holder for the most points scored in a single game with 100, a record that still stands to this very day, and I think it won't be shattered anytime soon. Well, unless Steph Curry gets super hot and knocks 33 pointers in a game, which is still highly improbable even with his three-point prowess. Tracy McGrady Listed at 6'8 and weighing around 225 pounds, Tracy McGrady could light up the scoreboard in the blink of an eye. During his prime, T-Mac would just use his agility and natural athletic ability to dominate the game. He was incredibly explosive when detonating inside the paint, and he also had an efficient mid-range game that was complemented with sweet handles. In an era where positional basketball still matters, T-Mac could play three positions up to the four spot and he did it with ease and swag. At that particular time, no one moved and put points on the board like he could. This was the guy who put Kobe on skates with a shimmy, who even Kobe admitted in an interview that T-Mac was the toughest guy he ever faced, the same guy who nearly ended Sean Bradley's career when he sucked out all the gravity in the American Airlines arena and the man who single-handedly put the entire Houston Rockets on his shoulders when he scored 13 points in 33 seconds against the Spurs. Though injuries prevented him from continuing his path to dominance, he was still able to make an impact on the next generation of NBA players. T-Mac was a back-to-back -back scoring champion, a two-time first-team All-NBA, seven-time All-Star, and once averaged 32.7 points per game, suiting up for the Orlando Magic. Charles Barkley Charles Barkley looked like an energetic ball of fire when he entered the league in 1984. To sum up Barkley's game in three words, power, speed, and hustle. At 6'6 and weighing around 260 pounds, Barkley opted to play the power forward position, despite being classified as an undersized big man. Except for his rookie season, where he averaged 8.6 rebounds a game, Barkley averaged a double-double throughout his 16-year NBA journey with pit stops in Philadelphia, Phoenix, and Houston. Primarily known for his punishing inside game, Barkley complemented it with a solid mid to long range game to complete the full arsenal that made him an unstoppable force during his prime. He was so dominant back then to the point that he demanded some respect be bestowed on his name. In return, he earned the moniker Sir Charles, despite not being knighted by the Queen herself. Though Sir Charles' on and off court demeanor doesn't resemble anywhere near a member of the royal family, Barkley will always be remembered as a badass who never forgets to be entertaining when he needed to be. Joel Embiid Growing up beyond American soil, no one ever thought a 15-year-old Cameroonian kid would become one of the most dominant big men in today's NBA. Joel Embiid's amazing NBA journey started when he was discovered by fellow Cameroonian Luc Mba on a moot Luc Ba Amute at one of the Basketball Beyond Borders camp programs of the NBA. When he landed in the United States, Embiid continued to grow and hone his skills even further, which he mostly patterned to the player that he looked up to since he was a kid, Hakeem Olajuwon. Standing at 7 feet, Embiid is both agile and finesse at the same time. He can physically pound you whenever he wants to, or beat you with a short mid-range jumper and a long three. Just like Hakeem, Embiid has bullet speed footwork, 
which is pretty rare given this gigantic frame, and delivers a variety of post moves to hit his opponents with. He's currently averaging a double-double with 28.5 points, 10.6 rebounds, and he's already a four-time All-Star despite just playing five years in the league. Giannis Atetacompo. From being a scrawny, under-the-radar 15th overall pick in 2013 to a two-time MVP, Giannis's ridiculous transformation is truly remarkable as he's now considered as LeBron James' successor in just his eighth year in the NBA. And we just don't call him the Greek freak for no reason. A combination of size, speed, and strength, Giannis is a one-of-a-kind specimen that can dominate both sides of the floor. His length is one of his primary weapons, as he uses it to gain offensive leverage using his long gazelle-like strides and his 7'4 wingspan can easily block and alter shots on defense. He can force his weight down to the paint using his agility, and you need to build a formidable wall just like the Raptors did in the last couple of playoffs just to slow him down. It's really hard to stop a guy who seems to have no apparent weaknesses at all aside from making jumpers. At the end of the day, what you can do is simply to contain him or limit his touches, and whenever you see him treading downhill from the half court, you just have to pray or get out of his way to avoid getting posterized. Kevin Garnett Drafted by the T-Wolves in 1995 as a premier high school prospect, the evolution of Kevin Garnett from a skinny big man to an unstoppable loudmouth has been well documented throughout his 21 seasons in the NBA. As the youngest member of the Minnesota squad back then, KG brought Minnesota back to relevance and he has single-handedly carried the franchise on his back that eventually turns the bottom seller franchise into a consistent playoff contender from 1995 to 2004. The big ticket was mainly known for his passion every time he stepped onto the court and was a force to deal with on both ends of the floor. KG had the combination of size, skill, and swag, which other big men didn't have. Standing at 6'11", KG could kill you from the inside with his trademark fadeaway, and his identity as a rim protector often sent a strong signal to any lane perpetrators that says, not today. A one-time champ and league MVP, KG was all bark and all bite. He let his game do the talking and backed it up with a Smash Mouth brand of basketball. He was recently inducted into the Naismith Hall of Fame, and if that doesn't speak dominance, I don't know what will. Carl Malone. At 6'9", 260, Carl Malone looked like your typical balding uncle that loved to grill barbecues during a hot Sunday afternoon. But the truth is, he's very far from what he really looks like as he's a certified badass when it comes to playing basketball. During his prime, Malone was a double-double machine and a beast in the low post. He also had a sweet touch from mid-range and this made him an all-around threat for the defense. His partnership with John Stockton put the Utah Jazz in 18 consecutive playoff appearances together with two back-to-back -back trips to the NBA Finals. Malone averaged 24.7 points and 10.7 rebounds per game in his entire career and currently holds the second spot for the most points scored by an individual in NBA history with 36,928. Zion Williamson If you're a big man in the NBA, the last thing you would want to see is Zion Williamson running towards you at full speed. The endless highlights say it all from the kid out of Duke. Standing at 6'7", but weighing almost 300 pounds, Zion is supposed to be a genetic anomaly. But for reasons that we'll never know, nor be able to explain, he possesses incredible hops and insane athleticism for his massive size, and is downright scary what he can do against any opposition once he gets a clean head start. Imagine combining the brute strength of Charles Barkley with a young Michael Jordan's athleticism and no doubt that the outcome is going to be Zion. There was one time when he just ripped the ball out of Giannis's hands like a bully that wants his lunch, and he can anticipate an alley-oop pass coming from half court. On the defensive end, Zion is a great help defender that can swat shots like little flies with his inhuman leaping ability. And when he needs a bucket, he'll just lower his shoulder and attack the rim. If that doesn't work, he'll just play bully ball straight up to get an easy two. The only way you can stop this once-a-generation athlete is to keep him out of the lane and force him to take an outside shot. Other than that, there's no way you can stop this mini trailer truck, especially when he's headed in your direction, at full steam. LeBron James The king needs no further introduction. LeBron James has the same build as Karl Malone at 6'8", has the strength of Charles Barkley, 
possesses the explosiveness of MJ and basketball IQ of Magic Johnson. For 18 years, LeBron has been playing in a league of his own and stayed on top of his game despite the long mileage inflicted on his body. Though LeBron has been a pass-first guy since day one, he was still able to dominate in the offensive end as he now ranks third all-time in the scoring charts. There's really no stopping the L train, especially when he decides to put his head down and attacks the rim. From relying on his athletic prowess, LeBron now has those turnaround fadeaways and his mid to long range has improved significantly throughout the years. This just spells more trouble for the rest of the league as we're far from seeing LeBron's decline and it seems that he's not done dominating just yet. Shaquille O'Neal It is without question that Shaquille O'Neal was the most unstoppable force that the NBA has ever seen and experienced. During the height of his career from Orlando to LA, there was virtually no human alive that could stop Shaq in his tracks. And if you're the opposing big man that was tasked to stop this seven-foot monster in the paint, well, you better be prepared, because Shaq ain't gonna hold back in bringing the pain. He has destroyed and shattered both players and backboards with his sheer brute power, and the only way to tranquilize this big man is to put him on the charity stripe with a hard foul. It has become so easy for Shaq that the league had to implement new rules just to even out the playing field. Diesel has managed to bag four NBA championships and one MVP award using his massive size and incredible strength, and I believe we won't be seeing a player as dominating as Shaq in this generation of the NBA. Did you like this video? If so, make sure to give this one a thumbs up and let us know who's your most dominant player in the NBA today by leaving your comments below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss new, exciting NBA videos.